I would have waited an eternity for this. It's over, Prime. With every game that I decide to pick up and play, I always have one objective in mind, and that is I'm going to finish this game. Well, hopefully. I love trying to beat any game that I come across. Even when I play arcade games, I've just got to see that end screen. Along this journey, I've come across some games that are just damn right brutal and unfair with a difficulty to where I surrender and put my hands up and admit defeat. In this video, I've put together five games which have really caused me a lot of frustration. Now, some of these um, games you may have beaten, but for me, I don't see myself beating them anytime soon. I've maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. Here's number five. Released in 1990, Baramba is a side scrolling shooter for the PC engine. You control this character in this weird looking spaceship shooting various enemies and you can even power up your weapons for a small amount of time. Seems simple enough but until I get to this boss. I've tried over and over to beat this boss, this is the closest I came so far. This boss drives me crazy, there is so much going on and I lose concentration most of the time during the battle. Want to know something embarrassing? I've owned Barumba for over 2 years now and I still can't work out how to beat this boss. The rest of the game is fun but hopefully one day I can work out this boss fight because it's an interesting looking game. Released in 1986, Akari Warriors is a run and gun shooter. My favourite genre of gaming, so I should be good at this game right? Nope. The start of the game kind of reminds me of the movie Commando. Bullets are flying everywhere, but unlike John Matrix, I get hit by every bullet and it's game over man. Am I doing something wrong with this game? I find the difficulty insane and unforgiving. It sucks. I really want to love this game and see what's beyond this level, but that won't be happening without some practice. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Released in 1988, Double Dragon 2 is a beat-em-up game with one of the best cover arts for a Nintendo game. I like the enemies in Double Dragon 2, they look like believable menacing thugs, but what I don't like about Double Dragon 2 is the jumping segments in the game. I find the jumping segments in this game so annoying and unnecessary. The way your character jumps just feels so heavy and unnatural. I can get past this jumping segment okay, I've actually come to not mind in this part of the game, it's just when I get to this part of the game, I can't even come close to getting past this level. I think I need to call Mario up for this jump. I feel really embarrassed that I can't get past this level, and I know that so many people blast through this game, but for me, this is just one hell of a level that I just can't work out. Hopefully one day I can work it out. Released in 1992, Rival Turf is a beat em up game. Now, I'm going to let you guys know a little something about me. I've never played Streets of Rage, I haven't played Final Fight, but I have played Rival Turf. I've got a little soft spot for Rival Turf as it's the first game that I hired for the Super Nintendo back in the day. In Rival Turf, you fight the same characters over and over, but they look cool. Check how generic this boss's name is. Um, can you tell me why they call you Genie again? Sorry, I wasn't listening. I wonder what these bad boys get up to when they're not bringing the pain. Oh wow. Rival Turf is a hard game and it can be frustrating most of the time due to the basic generic enemies that are waiting to lay the smackdown on you at any time. The bosses in this game are even more eager to get their greasy hands on you as well. Do I have fun playing Rival Turf? Yes. But do I ever see myself beating this game? Hell no. Released in 1995, Judge Dredd is an action platformer that is loosely based on the Judge Dredd movie. I remember playing Judge Dredd for the Super Nintendo quite a lot when I was younger, due to it was the only game on the bench at my video shop for most of my weekends. Well, that and Star Wars for the Super Nintendo. Playing Judge Dredd today, this is going to be a weird description for the game. It's not a fun game to play, and it kind of looks depressing and bland to even look at for most of the time. The whole time I'm playing this game, I'm on the edge of my seat hoping I can find a way out of the levels, as the levels are so long in this game. I can make it this far into the game, but look how busy this level looks, there's stuff everywhere. Judge Red is the first game I got for my Mega Drive, 
When I first got back into collecting retro games in 2016 and I've been trying to beat this game ever since. I thought I might be able to beat the game years later, but I was so wrong. I have heard the Super Nintendo's version of Judge Dredd is a lot easier than the Mega Drive's version, so do I pull out and pick up that version or keep trying to beat the Mega Drive's version? I don't know, is that cheating? Let me know in the comments and let me know if you have beaten any of these titles that I have mentioned. Do you feel the same way against some of these titles or is it just me? And that's my top 5 frustrating games. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know guys. Have any of you guys beaten this game? I swear that no one's beaten Judge Dredd. No one can beat that game. It's absolutely impossible I would say. Man, it sucks. I really, really wish one day I could beat that game. I mean, these games I don't hate but they, like, I would never say, like, I hate, hate a video game. I don't think I've ever come across a video game that I hate. But, um, these games I'm more forgiving because, um, I've had them for so long and I just try to beat them, like, every now and then. I'm like, alright, let's go. Let's see what you got. And then, uh, yeah, they whooped my ass. <laughs> In my next video, it's going to be a top five gaming memories. Um, I still play current games as well. I still play the PlayStation 4. But my first console was the, um, the Super Nintendo. I got that for Christmas in, um, I can't remember. <laughs> it was a, I think it was like 93, let's just say that. Um, so since that whole time, I've owned a lot of consoles in between as well. And um, yeah, I just have really fond memories of certain consoles and um, games as well, like uh, when they came out and stuff. It was, yeah. Anyways, I don't want to spoil anything, so we'll save it for the video. Um, that video will be out in a couple of weeks, so look out for that. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this top five most frustrating games. And let me know, guys, am I alone with some of these games? Drop a comment and, um, yeah, let me know if you finished them. Let me know if you're struggling with them. Anyways, take it easy, guys.